Question number eight, Sarah Dowie. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Small Business and asks, what measures has the government implemented to support small businesses in accessing the government procurement process? Mr Speaker. Honourable Craig Foss. Mr Speaker, each year the government spends approximately $39 billion with third-party suppliers, accounting for approximately 19 per cent of our GDP. This expenditure covers a wide range of goods, from services for contracts for prisons, IT systems, social services, research and, of course, the rebuild of Canterbury. To ensure that small businesses have the opportunity to bid for and supply government contracts, the government procurement policy has been structured to ensure that it is open, fair and transparent. To assist small businesses further, the government has implemented the government Listen carefully, you may learn something. Order. The government electronic tender service to ensure that businesses can easily find and bid for government contract opportunities. This new service went live last July. I encourage all small businesses to register and get on the GETS website. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Sarah Dowie. Uh, to the Minister, what else is being done to help small businesses access all of government contracts? Thank you. I'll grab your Honourable pen. Grab your pen. Boss. Mr Speaker, a range of other initiatives has been developed to assist small businesses. These include the development of government model contracts for low value and low risk procurement to create standardised, simple, plain English sets of conditions for contracts of common goods and services. And a supplier online resource centre, Mr Speaker, has been created to assist small businesses navigate the tendering process. New Zealand Trade and Enterprise has developed a programme called Better by Procurement, which aims to improve tendering proficiency and the strike rate for New Zealand suppliers. <coughs> Supplementary question, Sarah Derry. What proposals has he seen that could mean small businesses have less time to tender for all of government contracts? Mr. Speaker. Honourable Craig Foss. Mr. Speaker, I've seen proposals to introduce additional and new complex tax compliance on small businesses. If small and medium enterprises in New Zealand had to spend extra time working out how to comply with complex new taxes, such as a capital gains tax, then they would most certainly have less time for business and tendering for contracts. Sadly, Mr Speaker, for New Zealand's small and medium enterprises businesses, that is exactly a proposal from the order, order. That opposition. Order, not help. Order of the House. Supplementary. Order. Supplementary question. Jacinda Ardern. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary to the Minister. Will he commit to increasing the proportion of procurement undertaken by small business to 20 per cent, as Labor has committed to do? Mr Speaker. Honourable Craig Foss. I welcome the question from the member. Mr Speaker, over 107 government agencies are part of the procurement practice uh, policies of this government, but Mr Speaker, I do note the policy of the Labour Party that the member mentioned is actually only restricted to public service departments, the New Zealand Defence Force and the New Zealand Police. So Mr Speaker, in no way would they get to 20 per cent of government spend on that. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Order. Order. Point of order. Point of order, Jacinda. Uh, point of order, Mr. Speaker. The minister didn't answer the question as to whether or not order. he too would order. like to uh, reach a target of 20%. Order. My difficulty is I actually had trouble hearing the question because of the level of noise. I am going to invite the member Thank to you. repeat the question. Thank you, Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Will he commit to increasing the proportion of procurement undertaken by small business to 20%? as Labor has committed to do. Mr Speaker. Honourable Craig Foss. As part of those commitments that I, a Labor has committed to, actually their commitments to achieve such 20 per cent, which I checked out earlier, actually would only be restricted to the public service departments, New Zealand Defence Force and New Zealand Police. So on that basis, Mr Speaker, I could not commit to such a number. Question number nine. Order. Order.